In a matter of three days, this cow dunk will become your source of energy, providing fire for cooking and lighten your home. This is useful as Ghana is struggling with short supply of electricity and poor sanitation. It is Sunday afternoon. Nana Dodonko prepares to step out for waste material. He uses the material he gathers to generate biogas for cooking and electricity. A mechanical engineer from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Nanado makes a living generating biogas for others. He has several suppliers in the capital, Accra. He has come to the home of one of his suppliers. Good afternoon. I'm after Musa. He is not around. I was here in the morning and requested for cow dung. Is he aware? Yes. He asked you still to help out. Yusuf is the son of the supplier. He will help Nanado gather some cow dung for a token. Nanado endures unpleasant smell always, working with waste material, but he believes this is effective recycling. Vegetables are also useful, but there is an advantage with cow dung. The cow dung is faster than the spoiled vegetables. Was, that's why you have to ferment it for about two weeks. Two weeks before you start using them. Cow dung, they are not difficult to get them. But I go to my suppliers, they give it to me and I give them something, yes. Because they are going to throw it away anyway. And you know cow dung to me. If you live on the open for a, for a while, it will emit methane gas. And that is harmful to them. Back at home, Nanado begins the process with water. For him, protection is key. Not only for the stench, he uses other chemicals too. Though the process requires a bit of effort, it is worth it. The added advantage is that a user can prepare the mixture easily. To stay for some time. I've seen the bubbles and the foam. I have to check the acid level, test out the liquid. It has to be semi solid. Added the inoculator is to speed up the reaction. Nanado is finished with the mixture. He fits the gas holder into the digester containing the liquid. It is when it started generating the gas, you not experience this, uh, the stench again. This one is 200 grams, and it will last for one and a half to two hours per day. Continuous cooking. Yes. Among the clients of Nanado is the Accra Academy Senior High School. The school has a 35,000 CD commercial biogas facility which runs on human waste. The school wants to use the biogas for cooking. Nanado is here to ensure the 100 cubic meter system is useful. testing the presence of methane in the system. 
then from here I have to connect the pipe from here to the kitchen. He needs about three pumps, pipes, and hose to transfer the gas over 20 meters to the kitchen. Meals are prepared here for about 1,000 students and staff every day. So this is the place you Evelyn Inkuma yes, yes. is the senior domestic bearer of the school. I'm asking the fire flame and then the gas. No, 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 it will not happen. Mm, okay. Not at all. Okay. That's the problem. So maybe you can even convert this one to gas. The gas. Uh -huh. to so that we can use the district. The fire would yeah, be better. <laughs> uh, we prefer so that one. You prefer, prefer that one, converting the mm. fire wood to the fire uh, gas. Yeah, using the local stove, they are using firewood. So it will be appropriate to place the stoves here, then the biogas balloon behind them, then they can use the gas from the chamber to this place. A biogas system is quite costly and thus often discourages people from getting one. Sometimes they will come, they do the inquiries and they go. They will call me later to tell me hey, the thing is too expensive, I should do something about it for them. And sometimes I really can't do anything about it because of the materials involved. That notwithstanding, Nanado plans to expand his enterprise. I've planned to have a bigger facility of modern machines to manufacture my own even tanks. Yes. That plan is in the pipeline. After three days, the mixture Nanado prepared failed to generate gas. Ideally, the biogas is expected to start forming 24 hours after the mixture is prepared. Nanado encountered a technical problem, which he quickly resolved. During my routine check, I noticed there was a crack in the neck of where the valve is. And I have to fix that problem. Because if you don't fix that problem, air will enter the system. And it will not generate a gas, it rather generates carbon dioxide, and that will be a problem. Apart from the delay in the gas generation process, such a problem may bring about extra cost. I have to change the whole system again. Not the complete system, but the accessory, with the cap, the valve, we have to change it. I'm not worried about it. And I know surely it will generate the gas, but it will take a little time to do that. I'm not worried about it. I explain these things to them. Even before I start the system, I have to explain it to you. Because we are working with bacteria. We don't control them. They don't control themselves. So we only have to do the right things. The standards, we follow the standards. But if it's not working, but this one is purely technical. It's not biological. Because we had a crack in the neck of the valve. That's why. So we have to refix it and wait for some time for the bacteria to work and generate the gas. There are, however, several success stories. One of them is a domestic system he recently fixed for a company. This is similar to what Nanado has in his home, except it generates gas from vegetable waste. It is more beneficial as compared to the LPG because once the system is being put in place for close to 10 years, that is a lifespan. They are not going to buy gas. If more homes, schools, and factories start using biogas, the environment will become cleaner. People will not die from preventable diseases such as cholera. It will also help increase electricity supply.